Last Epoch's Endgame is unique, enjoyable, and rewarding for your character's progress. We're going to cover everything you need to know to get started and continue building your hero. As you begin the monolith portion of the game, you're likely to have some questions. What is stability, and should you be capping it each run? Well, stability is just a term to measure your progress for the quest echoes seen here. And the quest echoes are just a preset dungeon in a manner of speaking. Both the echoes and quest echoes feature certain objectives or bosses for you to overcome. They often range from objectives like kill two named creatures or defend target locations. Whether you should be capping stability each run depends on some factors. As you enter more echoes, the enemy modifiers will begin to accrue. And information for how long and what effect they'll have can be seen before you enter each echo. In the early stages, these likely won't be too much of a concern, even if you're speedrunning. That is, clearing the echo objective as fast as possible while largely ignoring everything else. However, as you add corruption, a term that we'll cover in more depth later, you can make it overwhelmed, and depending on how many nodes you can choose from will influence how much stability you look to get from each run. It might also be helpful to avoid harmful modifiers for your character build, or clear more of an echo if the modifiers are favorable at the moment. You can also strategically save echoes for the modifiers and then clear them prior to the boss to increase your chances of success. As you gain stability, you'll begin to unlock quest echoes, and these need to be done in order. You can go through and do them at your leisure. You don't have to do them immediately when unlocking them. After clearing the three quest echoes, you'll be able to select a blessing, which is a permanent buff to your character, and these can vary depending on which stage you've cleared. You'll also unlock another stage of the monolith. Can you replace a blessing and how many can you have? Yes, you can always repeat a stage for a chance at replacing it with a higher rolled version or a completely different choice, and you can have one blessing per monolith as seen here. So what are all these different icons seen around here? These are the bonus reward you'll receive if you complete the run without dying. Some of these examples include unique item, additional experience, bonus glyphs, set items, etc. After completing the initial set of stages, you'll unlock Corruption 100. With this comes increased rewards and experience. You can also further the corruption of a stage by finding new echoes that look like this. Also, by clearing the quest echoes just as you originally did to unlock the first blessing, you'll gain stacks of the Gaze of Orbis. These stacks will further increase the additional corruption as you clear these new echoes. It's entirely up to you and your character's ability, choosing when you'd like to progress. And the further you get away from the starting node, the more corruption you'll gain for completing one of these new echoes. So let's go ahead and select an echo as an example. We'll go ahead and start with the Rotting Fortress. You'll see once you get in here, there's going to be some quest objectives. In this case, we need to slay enemies until we locate the Spreading Frost. So we'll just go ahead and go through the map. At this point, which has actually been about 45 seconds, you'll see that a new objective has appeared. We're now going to slay the spreading frost. And we can take a look, and all these maps in general are fairly quick. I want you to know that most of these can be run in just a few minutes. As we arrive towards the final objective, we'll go ahead and slay this objective, and then we'll be able to receive the reward that we had selected for that particular echo. Make sure that you clear everything, especially if you're going to loot, because you can still die in this period of time, so make sure it's safe to do so before you venture on. Once you've gathered everything up, you can open a portal, or you can simply click the icon here, and you'll be transported to this room. And here you can receive, this is the bonus for this particular echo, we had selected gold, and then there'll always be a cache as well, which can give a chance at other additional items. Clicking back here, you'll simply be put back and you'll see that the stability has increased. And at this point I could do the quest echo and then the follow-up quest echo as well. However, I'm just gonna wait until I have all three. If you have any questions about the end game or any helpful tips for new players starting the end game, I encourage you to leave a comment so others may benefit. As always, thanks for taking the time to watch and have a great day.